Hello guys and welcome back to the wedding series and today is super exciting because I am taking you guys along with me as I go wedding dress shopping. Well I actually already went wedding dress shopping but I filmed it along the way so I'm going to kind of talk um, through it with you guys. If you haven't watched my previous wedding dress shopping video go watch that because you'll kind of understand um, kind of the way that I did it and I'm gonna mimic that today so basically last time I just got my um, my mom and my friend Amber to help me film so that when I was there I didn't have to focus on filming I didn't have to act a certain way for the camera or say or not say a certain thing for the camera um, I really wanted to be present and so they just kind of filmed it for me and then I did a voiceover kind of like this where I'm talking with you guys and just talked through all the dresses and so that's what I'm doing again today so yes we got a new venue if you have not watched our brand new venue tour video please go watch that because I promise you will be so so impressed we just got the best venue in the world I truly believe and like Michael and I both said in the video previously it is just like a little Italian dream so that is very different than our first venue that we had picked out for the wedding that we were kind of uh, planning prior and so, like I said in the last video too, we kind of wanted to start from scratch because it was such a different vibe. And so for this venue, it's kind of an Italian garden party vibe. I think that's kind of what we're going for. So I wanted an extremely different dress than I had got previously. And before it was kind of more of a whimsical, romantic, springtime wildflower kind of feel. And so this is like extremely different. So yeah, I wanted a whole new dress, a whole new look. So with the wedding being only less than four months away, I knew that I wanted to go to a bridal shop where um, dresses were kind of affordable because we're all trying to save money during this wedding planning process and where the turnaround time wasn't going to be super long and luckily previously when we had gone when I had gone wedding dress shopping I kind of learned the way around the whole process I guess in most traditional bridal shops you go try on a dress you like it and it's like four months for production for them to make it and I don't know why they do it like that but most places do it like that and I'm like we're getting married in four months so I can't have that and I don't want to be paying like a thousand dollars in like a rush because you can do that but I just don't want to have to do that so for this I really wanted to go back to Beholden so in my previous wedding dress video um, that was the last store I had gone to that was where I found my dress the first time and I knew it as soon as I put it on and most of their dresses are way more affordable than the other place that I was trying on dresses so like kind of that more um, traditional bridal shop they ranged a lot in the traditional bridal shops but mainly the ones that I tried on were kind of out of my price range that I wouldn't really feel comfortable spending um, so Beholden was definitely, like the wedding dress that I got previously, the one I tried on was the cheapest one I had tried on that day, and it was the one. So I knew I wanted to go back to Beholden, and honestly, truly, I was like, look, I'm not leaving Beholden without a dress. So I knew I was going to find it there. And another good thing about Beholden is that they don't have production time, so they already have these dresses in your size so you would just have to pick whatever size you think would be closest to you and then you order that size and literally like a week or two later it comes to your door and then of course you try it on and you go get it altered to fit your specific body perfectly and so I'm pretty sure my dress is on the way and I actually got a veil from there too and that's already been mailed in um, so it just comes in like super super quick and that is why I chose Beholden I know that was a long spiel but I really wanted to explain why I'm going I was going back to that bridal shop and I was like determined I'm gonna find my dress I'm not trying on 20 something dresses this time it's quicker I'm gonna find it I'm just gonna know it's gonna be simple it's gonna be great so now I'm gonna show you guys um how many dresses did I try on okay so I think I tried on nine dresses that day and we were trying to get through it in like an hour time so it was very very quick but since I had already tried on dresses before I kind of knew what I was looking for and knowing what our venue looked like and it kind of being a very specific vibe I knew what I was looking for. So what I was looking for was something kind of Italian, like I just said, um, but also simple and different and unique, but still slightly dramatic. So there was a few different things that I was looking for. I wanted to try on a bunch of really silk, satin, modern looking dresses. Um, so that was one style that I wanted to try on. And then the other style, I don't really know what it was, um, but it was just embodiment of like, almost like a Spaniard Italy style I don't know you guys will see in the video like the different dresses that I try on and you'll kind of understand what I was saying but I did find my dress that day I think it was the second one 
I tried on um, but this time I found way many more dresses that I actually liked like I was having a really hard time deciding between like three or four or like two or three dresses that I had to try on again at the end but as soon as I put on the one that I ended up getting I was like I'm not even trying on that third option anymore like I know this is the one um, so obviously I'm not going to show you guys the dress that I got but you will kind of get what I was looking for and it's just kind of fun of course to share trying on wedding dresses so without further ado let's get into what you guys have came for the beautiful dresses so I'm gonna be watching the little video on my phone uh, that my mom took of the dresses and just kind of talking through them with you guys and I'll put it up on the screen so that's what I'm looking at and I'm just talking through it so this first dress that I tried on um, was very beautiful I loved the the tool look I remember last time I was really into the tool look but I think for this time I wanted something slightly different I loved that it was romantic and had that dramatic train but I'm not a big fan of the sweetheart neckline as you guys know and so this just wasn't the one but it was beautiful so like I said the second dress that I tried on is the one that I ended up getting um, but I put it on again at the end not gonna show you guys but we're gonna skip to dress three technically that I tried on that day so this dress is kind of what I was talking about about the satin silky kind of modern um, sleek look I definitely think that that was a huge option with the venue that we had um, but this was like a beautiful one shoulder and I had saw it online and it was probably one of the favorite ones I saw online at their store but um, it's really hard to tell with the dress with like the clips in but you just got to try your best it just wasn't right and I would be con self conscious about what I'm wearing like underneath making sure no like little bulge or nothing shows so I just think I wouldn't feel as comfortable in that one so this one yes I tried on strictly because it has pink like that's why I tried it on um I don't know if I would have like a little pink on my wedding dress maybe um no shame to it I would if I like loved the shape of it but I think it just wasn't the top was not flattering at all um and it was a little like I guess more dense than what I was going for I wanted something a little bit lighter um, but it was really fun to try on a little bit of pink and my mom really liked this one So this one is definitely one of the ones that I was contemplating at the end Because I love the back and if I'm honest with you guys, I am not a big fan of lace like I have Never been drawn towards lace dresses, but I was like, you know I'm gonna try on lace because I really do think that you should try on things that you're not even sure about because you never know how much you like it and I loved the back on this one and the main reason why I really really love this dress is because of the sleeves I just thought that added the drama the uniqueness that I was looking for and it not being like every other dress that you see out there but the dress that I ended up getting did beat this one if you can believe that because this dress is beautiful so this is another one of those like satin silky dresses and I loved the buttons all down the back of this one and I liked the open back that was really pretty because the front was so simple I liked that the back kind of had more drama but again, it just, it wasn't right. It does look like old Hollywood glam and I actually really like that. But um, yeah, it just wasn't like the wow factor I guess that I was looking for when you like put it on. So this one is kind of similar to the one I just tried on, but um, it's a little more form fitting, has a little bit of a different shape. And I actually thought this one was a little bit more flattering on me. You can kind of see in the mirror, it fits me a little bit better, I guess, like the shape of it. Um, and I liked the little back detail. I feel like this dress would be perfect if you're doing like a super low key, like backyard wedding or going honestly to the courthouse wedding. I think this would be really like chic for that kind of look. So this dress is pretty different from those few other ones I tried on. So I guess this would be like the other look that I was maybe trying to go for. Um, fairy tale. I just, I loved this dress. I think this is another one of the ones that I was going to try on at the end. But I think I ended up, I didn't end up trying it on again because I tried on the one I got and I loved it. Um, but love the sleeves on this one. That's the drama I wanted. Just something simple like that. Um, ugh. I love this dress but it wasn't as flattering like the skirt kind of stuck out a little bit so it wasn't as flattering as some of the other ones but I thought it was really pretty and romantic so this is the last one that I tried on and again you can tell it's the sleeves I love the sleeves I definitely was looking for something like this um, for the previous venue uh, this dress would have gone with the other venue like really really well um, but I think they didn't have this dress last time when I was trying on but this dress is so pretty it just was a little like a little less formal I guess than what I was going for um, 
like I said, it matched the other venue a little bit better, which was a little bit more casual, a little bit more springy. And this time we're getting married in the fall, so I think it just didn't go um, with the venue as well. So those are all the dresses that I tried on. I know it's a lot less than what I tried on previously, but like I said, I knew I wanted to get my dress from there. And as soon as I put it on, it did give me like, okay, this is like definitely a contender. And then I really suggest at the end putting on two or three of your favorite ones that you tried on again. And this time they walked me out like towards outside of the dressing room where there's a big mirror and they put a veil on me on the few dresses that I tried on at the end. And that really gives you you know the full look you'll never get the full look unless you're literally on your wedding day glammed up things like that but um, we had put my hair up put the veil on and put the dress on I wanted and I just I could in the video actually you can hear me saying I feel like a bride but of course I'm not gonna share that video maybe like after the wedding I'll share that footage but I'd say like I feel like a bride because in that dress I did and I think when you feel like a bride I think that's definitely a big contender if not the one so I think that's pretty much it. Like I said, it was a lot shorter than last time, but it was just way more like simple this time. I kind of knew what I was wanting. I was determined to find a dress that day because of Beholden's turnaround time and because of their prices being a lot better than most traditional bridal shops. So I was determined and I just had faith that God would bring me the right dress and lead me in the right direction. And his hand was just in it the whole time. And we were actually able, me and my mom were able to purchase a veil as well, which previously we weren't able to do that. So it just, it just really all worked out and I knew that God had a plan the whole time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the wedding series. This is probably one of the most girliest fun ones that there will be because of course it's wedding dress shopping. I've watched so many wedding dress shopping videos. <laughs> Too much to count. They're just so fun watching someone put on a gown. I mean, how much more fun can you get than that? But Michael and I are planning on filming more wedding series videos like we said in the venue tour video. Um, so we have many more ideas. We actually just got our wedding invitations in and I think we might show you guys those in a separate video because tomorrow he's going to get fitted for his suit. Um, and so we're going to try to film that and so maybe we'll put that like in the same vlog. And then I'm also thinking about doing a wedding shredding series. I said that like really weird. Like I wasn't sure if I was going to say wed shred or wedding shredding. I guess I'll call it a wed shred. Okay, so basically like, you know, working out up until the wedding, sharing some of that, um, sharing some of maybe tips on eating, things I'm doing to get ready. I haven't thought too much about like the wedding shred because I feel like I work out pretty consistently already, but Michael and I have talked about it and definitely up until the wedding, like when it starts getting really close, like we're going to cut down on some things we're eating, maybe throw in some more HIIT workouts in there because right now we're kind of strictly weightlifting. Um, but I think that's part of the stage is like weightlifting now and then slowly like gearing up with our cardio and cutting down more on what we're eating. So yeah, I just thought that journey would be kind of fun too. So let me know if that's something you guys would want to see and please comment below any other wedding series videos you have because I'm pretty much up to anything. Everything is just working out so well and I can't wait to share more with you guys. So thank you guys for stopping by Chloe & Co and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.